of saying no to all those things that would tempt a pilgrim away from the path of good. It goes on for three days. Each pillar must be, st must be stoned, not necessarily struck, but stoned seven times. This is the scene, the, the Jamarat, where a number of accidents have happened in the past. A number of people have lost their lives in the crush. You know, the, the, the mass of people that occupy the space. But we just checked in with a Saudi security official. There have been no reports of any accidents up until this point. Now, see, we want to share with our viewers uh, also the story of one pilgrim in particular. Uh, Leslie Rowan in the Sea of Pilgrims stands out. She's an American-born Muslim convert. But when it comes down to it, she's just like all the other people here in Mecca. She's on a spiritual journey. They come together as one on the plains of Arafat. Under the hot Saudi sun, nearly three million Muslims spend the day in prayer and meditation, all hoping God will hear their prayers on this, the second day of the Hajj. Muslims believe this ritual is a dress rehearsal for the Day of Judgment, and when the sun sets, the pilgrimage reaches its climax. So this is a day of forgiveness, a day of emancipation, um, a day for, of forgiveness, and that's what Hajj is all about, is, is becoming a newly born person. For Leslie Rohn, an American-born Muslim convert, the experience of performing her first Hajj is a dream come true. We spoke to her just hours before she set out for Arafat. Just thinking about the day's significance filled her with emotion. Um, I'm going to be praying for forgiveness for my sins. And, um, and that, I think, is what we all are after. And, you know, there are a lot of things that we do consciously and unconsciously. I, I, I want a closer relationship with God. This 49-year-old resident of California is a long way from home, and she says she is relishing every minute of her spiritual journey. But she admits performing the ritual of circumambulating the Kaaba is at times physically overwhelming. There are times when you have to, you have to kind of put down that spiritual piece of it and just focus on staying safe. She converted to Islam three years ago because she'd grown dissatisfied with Catholicism. In Islam, she says she found the connection to God she'd been yearning for. Every Muslim who is financially and physically able is required to perform the Hajj at least once during their lifetime. While other Muslims agonize about when to actually make the trip, Leslie says it was an easy decision for her. Back home in the U.S., as she made her final preparations for her trip to Mecca, she explained why. It's a really great time to go. It's winter in Saudi Arabia, so it's probably only 95 degrees during the day. And, um, and I'm very excited about going. So it's, it's something I've wanted to do ever since I converted. But the Hajj is not simply about getting closer to God. Over the course of this five-day religious gathering, Muslims from all around the world will also be striving to get closer to each other. Now, Stephen, once Leslie has uh, completed the ritual of stoning the devil, uh, what pilgrims do then is they, they sacrifice an animal. That meat is distributed amongst the poor. They also cut their hair. Then they head back here to Mecca to go around the Kaaba another seven times. That's called the turning or the tawaf. Back to you, Stephen. I'm impressed that you were able to find her because I thought the whole point of this was to have her just like everybody else. They all, the pilgrims, wear the same white. They all recite the same prayers. Uh, you know, they all uh, undertake the same rituals, showing that they're all the same before God. You managed to pull her out of a huge crowd. Well, well, Stephen, just a point of note, it is the men who come to, to perform Hajj that must take on the white Iram garment. All pilgrims will be in a state of Iran, which is a state of purity. But in terms of the actual outfit, it's men that must wear the white. So it makes it much harder to pick them out. Women, when it comes down to it, aren't actually bound to wear any color in particular. It has just become a norm that women tend to wear white along with the men. The only thing women must not do here at the heart is cover their faces, even if that's what they do back at home. Stephen. Fascinating insights. Aisha, thank you for that. We'll look forward to seeing you later in the week as well. That uh, holiday that Aisha mentioned, Eid al-Adha, is the cause of another major development in Saudi Arabia, which...